Hi guys. We are doing a lunch date today. I've been very good with the grocery budget, so I had some money to get a bit of a treat for lunch. So I went with Hungry Jacks. Don't worry, I only got healthy things. Um, like onions and potatoes and a burger that had lettuce and tomato on it. So it's really, really healthy. And I'm having water with it, so, you know, it's going to be good. Um, this is my first video like this, so it's a little bit weird having lunch in the car with you guys. I've got hand sanitizer because <laughs> I always have it. Um, if you haven't seen mukbang video, mukbang? mukbang videos before basically it's like you just get to sit down and have lunch or dinner with the person on camera so if it is almost lunchtime where you are or almost dinner where you are then feel free to go ahead and get your lunch or dinner and we will eat together but press pause because i can't wait i'm starving i'm gonna dig in so i'm really hungry so instead of my usual which is a whopper with cheese i got a whopper junior because that way I can get fries and onion rings and I might have got chicken nuggets as well. You probably can't hear me because I'm rattling the bag. So I got a Whopper Junior with cheese, which I've never had before. I've only ever had the proper sized Whopper with cheese. So I'm hoping it's an exact match, just smaller. Um, I got three chicken nuggets, a small pack of onion rings and a small fries. And sauce wise... I asked for honey and mustard, but I didn't get any sauce. Unless it's hiding in the packet, which I don't think it is. Oh, no sauce. Well, I've got water, so I won't die. Okay. Do you know what? There's no plastic at all in here. Good job, Hungry Jack. That's why I didn't get a drink. I didn't want a plastic straw. That is so good. Mmm. Fire. Okay. So I'm going to start with an onion ring. Oh, look how cute they are. They're so tiny. Mmm. That's beautiful. Would be better if I had sauce to dip it in. But pretty good. You get a lot in a small pack. One, two, mm, 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 mm. You get seven. I can't do it. I'm holding the pack up. They're nice. But what fried food is not nice? I mean, that's the problem with it, right? We've had some very healthy dinners this week. So I feel okay about it. And I, and I don't have to share with the kids. Mm. So Hungry Jack's is like Burger King. I think. I think it's like Burger King. Because in Sydney, they have Burger King. At the train station. And then up here in Newcastle, it's all Hungry Jack's. There's no Burger King that I'm aware of. And um, the menu seems exactly the same, so. Hmm. Now, the chips, though, are really funny. Because I swear a couple of years ago their fries were the same as McDonald's. Like, a different flavour. Almost like these were cooked in a different oil or stock. But they were skinny. I'm sure they were skinny. And now, look at the size of them. They're really big. It says better, crispier chicken. 100% chicken breast, crispy nuggets. Let's see. crispy at all but nice so what's new with you guys let me know in the comments what you've been up to 
I've had an up and down week as far as how busy I've been. We had, I work from home. So even the busy days feel quite nice, which is good. So I'm lucky there. But a couple of work days, a couple of housework days, a couple of YouTube days. Volunteering day at the school. I help in the canteen. I love, I love it. It's really fun. It's hard to be around all the canteen food though and not want to snack all day long. But it's supporting the school, so, you know. Okay, so this is the Whopper Junior with cheese. I've spilt lettuce on me already. Oh, it's got the meat patty. Onion. Oh, it's still got a pickle. I don't like pickles on burgers. But I do like taking the pickle off the burger and eating it by itself before I eat the burger. Let me know if you do that too. I feel like my mum always did that and that that might be where I got that from. I'm going to put the paper on my lap so that I don't drip sauce all over me. Mmm. That's really nice. Mmm. Yeah, it's just like a big whopper with cheese, but it's little. It's one piece of tomato and it's so cute because it fits the burger bun entirely. One piece? I think it's one piece. Yep. Yeah. Oh, maybe one in a bit. But it fits the burger perfectly. Mm, yum. I don't bother with bacon or extras. I think if you put too much on a burger, it takes away from the tastiness and you get so many flavours that you can't tell one from the other anymore. Mm. That's really nice. I thought about getting a dessert, but Hungry Jack's, all it has is ice cream based desserts that I could see on the menu anyway. So at McDonald's at least you've got like an apple pie, cookies, but Hungry Jack's it's just sundaes. What are those things where they do the ice cream and then they put the lollies or the cookies in it? I want to say Storm, but I don't think it's Storm. I think that's McDonald's. It might be Stunner. Or maybe it's a Stunner meal where you get the whole meal when you get the Storm included. Because McDonald's is a McFlurry. That's what it is. Yeah, it must be called a Storm. Onion rings. Who thought they'd be so nice? These are crispy. More better than onion. But I think that's what makes them nice. It's a cute little bag. I love, I love that there's no plastic in here. It would be good if you could eat in at fast food restaurants and get a plate that they would wash. I guess that wouldn't make it fast food then. But to cut down on the paper, on the plastic. Because I think it's hard as a consumer when you try and cut back on plastic and you try and come back on, cut back on things that need to be recycled. I think we're doing a good job for the planet, but it's really hard because then you miss out on, you know, giving yourself a treat now and again. I think you've got to be able to balance that out a little bit. Anyway, so that's also why I didn't get a dessert because I had a feeling it would come in a plastic cup or in a cup with a plastic lid. It's not a deal breaker. I'm not craving sweets. Mmm. Although I did have fruit and nut chocolate this week and it was so good.
I'm gonna do the rest of the grocery shop when I'm done. I've planned it all out. I'm going to three shops this week and I've planned it to the dollar, which is how I gave myself the okay to have lunch out. Um, we're on a pretty tight budget for our groceries because we really, really, really want to pay off our mortgage as fast as we can. But sometimes you've got to do a little something fun. So I'm going to go to the local fruit barn first for our fresh stuff. Then I'm going to go to Aldi. Then I'm going to go to Coles for I think three things. Mmm. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to stay under budget, which is good. We're not hosting family dinner this week, so it's a little bit cheaper. And we don't have to cook. Mmm. Yeah, so good. Sauce everywhere. I only get sauce on me on days when I have makeup on. That would not be the same if it didn't have cheese. The cheese makes it. I feel like the onion on a Hungry Jack's burger is raw. And the onion on a McDonald's burger is cooked. Is that right? I swear on a Big Mac, it's tiny pieces of cooked onion. I could be wrong. But I don't think so. Drop lettuce on me. I'm worried I'm going to spill sauce on my hair because I washed my hair last night. And I try and make my hair go as long as possible between washes now. Partly environmental reasons, because, you know, less plastic if you're buying less shampoo during the year. You're using less plastic bottles. But partly because I'm really lazy. And when I wash my hair, I've got to wash it, dry it, style it. I have long hair, so it takes a while. So, for about a year, maybe more, I've been washing my hair just once a week. And I thought for sure that it would be a really big issue with people. Like, people would be going, you know, that's really gross, your hair looks terrible... But no one has said anything. So either my friends don't notice or they just literally don't care. It doesn't bother them. Or they do notice and they do care but they don't want to hurt my feelings so they don't say anything to me. <laughs> either way, life is so much easier now. So now I wash my hair. For the first two or three days I wear it long and straight. Um, for the next two or three days I curl it. And then the final two or three days I either... Just leave it and let the curl drop into a wave or I put it up into a ponytail or a bun. So by the time I get through a couple of days of each hairstyle, we're already at six days and often I'll stretch it to a third day for each option. So that this week it took me to nine days. Although my hair looked really messy by yesterday, I filmed a clean with me video yesterday and you can see my hair. <laughs> really, it's as far as I could take it. Um, I'll link it to this video so you can go and watch it and see if you can spot how badly my hair needs washing. That sounds terrible. But I think we really overwash our hair. I was at a point where I was washing my hair every day and it would get oily by the afternoon and it was really frustrating. So it took a good six months to be able to go five days and then I would have two days of really, really bad hair like cover it with a scarf or put it in a bun hair but after a year I can get to seven really easily now and yeah this week I got to nine and people didn't move away from me in public you know like I didn't go to the movie sit down and have people move chairs so I figure it's okay the only downside to long hair 
is I'll go to sleep and it will be like this when I go to sleep and then I'll wake up and it will just be everywhere. Kinks. Is it so hard to just go to sleep, not move at all, and have perfect hair when you wake up? That's what I used to have before I had kids. I don't know if having kids changed my hair because of the pregnancies. Or if it's just a stress thing. And now I toss and turn at night more because I don't sleep very well anymore. Maybe it's that. Either way. My hair post kids. A lot more high maintenance than it was before kids. Pre-kids. Mm. I thought for sure I'd buy this food. And I was really worried that I'd waste some of it. Because I didn't know if I wanted onion rings or chicken nuggets. So I got both. But I'm so hungry. I'm going to eat all of that. I really am. That's why the small chips were good. And three nuggets instead of six. I know this food is really bad for you, but I appreciate that you can get small portions of it. I feel like at McDonald's you can only get three if you get a Happy Meal. I don't know if that's true. I could be wrong. Yeah, I could be wrong. Mm. I hate cooking chicken. I think it's delicious, but I hate cooking it. I don't mean I like to eat raw chicken. I mean... I would prefer eating chicken that is already cooked, that I have not had to cook. Unless it's roasted. I can put it in the oven and then that's fine. But I don't know how to grill chicken or fry chicken and know when it's ready. So I'm always paranoid about it. So when it's my turn to cook, I pretty much always go for vegetarian dinners. There's no raw meat to handle. There's no chopping. Although, our local butcher is lovely. They'll chop the meat for you if you ask them to. And they let you bring your own container if you don't want to use plastic wrapping. <clears throat> I'm almost done. I felt a little bit funny filming in the car today. Because I'm worried about people walking past. But I haven't seen anybody walk past and look at me weird yet so maybe we should do these videos again let me know if you'd like to see another mukbang <laughs> video or have another lunch date with me like this it feels more normal if I call it a lunch date but I don't think it matters what you call it really So if you want to do it again, let me know. I can't buy food like this all the time. Or my GP would be like, <laughs> yeah, it's just, I'd have heart trouble if I did it all the time. But as a treat... This was really nice. I've only got the little crumbs at the bottom.
Mm. That was awesome. Okay. So I'm going to take home the rubbish and recycle it. But before I go home... I think Hungry Jacks might beat KFC now because there's no plastic. <clears throat> but before I go home, I'm going to go and finish off the rest of the grocery shopping. And try really hard not to buy a donut. <laughs> a donut king. Because <laughs> I'm not hungry anymore. But you know what it's like when you feel like something sweet when you've finished having lunch? I've got that going on. I'm going to try not to do it. We'll see how I go. Alright everybody, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know if you want to see one like this again. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please hit the subscribe button and tap the notification bell. And that way, whenever I upload, you'll see the video and we can spend some more time together because it was fun today. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I go anywhere, anywhere.